All right, so we are going to use long division to divide polynomials following the same process that we just saw with just the regular numbers that you guys have used for long division. So we're going to use long division to divide p of x by d of x. So the p of x polynomial is going to go underneath your long division. Um, what is that thing called? A radicand? Underneath that thing. And then what you're dividing by goes off on the side. All right, so when you do long division, you're going to focus on leading terms. We're going to take the leading term of this polynomial and divide it by the leading term of that polynomial. I like to do that work off on the side, typically. So we have x to the third divided by x. x to the third divided by x, if you remember, we subtract exponents when we are dividing the same base, leaves us with an x squared. So I'm going to put an x squared up top. Now I'm going to take this x squared and multiply it by what we were dividing by. The thing that's going to happen here is it's going to multiply with the x, but it's also going to multiply with the 3. So we're going to do x squared times x, which is x to the third power, and then x squared times a positive 3 is a positive 3x squared. I'm going to put parentheses around this because we are now going to subtract. If we got the right term up here, these two should be exactly the same. x cubed minus x cubed should cancel on us. And then we're looking at subtracting these second terms here. 5x squared minus 3x squared. Sometimes you subtract a negative, so you're always going to see me going out to the subtraction so I don't forget. Um, if you subtract a negative, it will turn positive. But 5x squared minus 3x squared is just 2x squared. After you do that subtraction, you're going to carry down the rest of the, poly the original polynomial, so plus 6x plus 9. And then we start that whole process again. We go back to take the leading term divided by the leading term. Our polynomial, though, has been divided down to this. So now our leading term is a 2x squared. So we're going to take a 2x squared and divide it by the leading term of our divisor. That's what that's called out front, divided by x. 2x squared divided by x leaves you with a 2x to the first power. That's positive, so plus 2x goes on top. Then we take that 2x and we multiply it through this x plus 3. 2x plus or 2x times x is 2x squared. I feel good about that, that these are exactly the same, so I think I got the right term up there. 2x times 3 is a positive 6x. Throw parentheses around it and subtract. So what we notice on this one is your 2x squared cancel, because they subtract, you get 0. Here we have 6x minus 6x, which also leaves us with 0. And so we just have that 9 to carry down. When we carry down the 9, that's going to be our remainder. All right, so to write our answer, let's go through the two ways that you can write your answer on this one. I'm going to get rid of some of this. Oh, here we go. Just to make some space. So the first way that we can write our answer is we can say that x cubed plus 5x squared plus 6x plus 9 divided by x plus 3 is equal to we got this 2x squared or x squared plus 2x up top oops x squared plus 2x plus our remainder. Our remainder is 9, and we divide it by the divisor, 9 plus, or 9 divided by x plus 3. So there's one way to represent our answer. The second way to represent our answer is to say that the x cubed plus 5x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to the product of x squared plus 2x times our dividend x plus 3, and then plus our remainder of 9. So those are both acceptable answers.
All right, so now that we have gone through that, the second example will go a little bit faster. We're gonna take P of X divided by D of X. So that's gonna look like 8X cubed. Plus, now if you notice, we're missing the X squared and the X term. We want to represent those when we do long division. So we're gonna just throw a zero with our X squared plus a zero X and then plus that 27. Um, we know that zero times these terms would simplify those away, but we need, they just are kind of like placeholders when we do our long division, so we want those terms there. We're going to divide that by our dividend, 2x plus 3. All right, so long division, take the leading term, 8x to the third power, divided by the leading term, 2x, and simplify that. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And x cubed over x is x squared. So we have a 4x squared that goes up top. Now we take our 4x squared and we multiply it through. 4x squared times 2x is 8x to the third power. 4x squared times 3 is a positive 12x squared. Parentheses around that, we subtract. 8x cubed minus 8x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus a 12x squared is a negative 12 x squared, and then we carry down the rest of the polynomial, plus 0x plus 27. And we do that whole process again. Leading term divided by leading term. Here's our new leading term. We have a negative 12x squared dividing by, divided by the leading term of our divisor, 2x. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. x squared divided by x is x. So I'm going to say minus 6x because that was negative. Then we take our negative 6x and multiply it through this 2x plus 3. So negative 6x times 2x is a negative 12x squared. Negative 6x times 3 is a negative 18x. And then we subtract. All right, so these negative 12x squared minus a negative 12x squared turns into plus 12x squared. So negative 12x squared plus 12x squared is zero, those cancel. Basically, if these are the exact same terms with the same signs, they will subtract to give you zero. Then we're gonna subtract, we're gonna be very careful. We have zero x minus a negative 18 x. So zero minus a negative 18 turns into zero plus 18. And you get positive 18 x and you carry down your next term, 27. And now we do the whole process again. So our original polynomial has it divided down to this negative 12x squared plus 0x plus 27. Now we divided it down again. If you notice, our exponents are decreasing. Every time we divide it down, now we have 18x plus 27. So we're going to take our leading term of 18x, divide it by the leading term of the divisor, 2x. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and x divided by x is just 1, so we just have a 9 positives, we're going to say plus 9. We take that 9 and multiply it through the 2x plus 3. 9 times 2x is 18x. 9 times 3 is positive 27. Throw a parentheses around and subtract. 18x minus 18x is 0. That's what we wanted to have happen. And then 27 minus 27 is 0. I look to see there are no more terms to bring down. So this means that there is no remainder. We're gonna write our final answer out. We have two ways to write it. The first way to write our answer is where we say that 8x cubed, I'm just gonna go back to plus 27. We don't have to include these zero terms when we write our answer. Divided by 2x plus three equals, what did we get? We got 4x squared minus 6x plus nine. Our second way of writing our answer is our 8x cubed plus 27 is equal to the product of 2x plus 3 times that 4x squared minus 6x plus 9.